Whew. Well, I guess we're going to the dairy. <laughs> so, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Dang. Sweet. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. Yeah. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Damn straight. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and how <coughs> important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. <sighs> it's probably because they're being racist, maybe. Uh. Barry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Yeah. Valentine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Um. You know what happened. what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. You may be right. Listen, <sighs> over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Carly. I mean, thank Very God nice. Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, the motor in... I grew up in, grew up in Macon. Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? It's a damn democracy, Lily. Lily she runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. Yeah. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. Enough. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes <laughs> it ten. Well, we'd love Ooh. to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, Dang. we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Yep. Yeah, Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. Oh wait, they're you brothers. Me out of this? Shoot, get down. Crap! What's going on? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a you lot know what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Cause they're completely Fuck not you. obvious. Oh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus. My God! out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's horrible. Oh, he's gonna come back. I don't think he shot him in the head. Oh, he's gonna come back, and it's all gonna be horrible. Probably when they're gonna be on the road back to the motor and he's gonna come back. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how he kept this place so safe. That would hurt to touch. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, Carly. <sighs> this is a really intense story. Ever accidents? We can't have kids around the fans. This is a brilliant this setup. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. Yeah. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company <laughs> coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. 
They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together. Lily keeps focused on survival. Kenny's working on getting us somewhere. Uh, here we go. It's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. I'm, I'm probably going to be on. He was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. No, now it's not. Here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. We brought gasoline. Does that offer apply? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Big fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Oh actually Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Yeah, we Our should take the group here. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? This is all like a perfect plan. Food and round up everyone for the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. Yeah. I can handle myself. I'm take this. pretty sure go everything's go gonna get bad. Yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Uh, Ben's probably gonna on, get it. Please. Maybe. Why don't you take I don't a look know. around. Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This okay. This is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, we should do whatever we can to help them out. Let's make sure the place is safe. Um... They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the yeah. more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy yeah. needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Let's do this. I have a good feeling about this place. Just don't touch the fence, bro. Where should we go? Right, the fence is here. Oh. Look at picket fence. Talk to Andy. Um, let's go. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Yes. So carrying the perimeter will Getting help a lot. the perimeter secured is going to help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm going to get yep. back to it. Okay, well, Mark, you should probably help. There's a swing here, too. Let's hope this is all good. I don't want to touch the fence. Swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I try to fix it? How long since it's been used? When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. <coughs> I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. <laughs> Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. And some rope. Make it yep. safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I'm gonna need some rope. There's got oh, to be yeah. a board around here I can use as a seat. Okay, perimeter. Is it? Oh, I can't go that far. Okay. Perimeter. Let's do this. Or I can't go that far. Is this the only perimeter we have to secure? It's not a very good per Why does it look like he used the gate? What are we doing?
use the front door. We'll go back. Make sure the perimeter is secure first. Alright, let's... Go. Can we go farther? Let's look at this fence. <laughs> we. Yeah, you don't say. Look at board. It's too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Yeah. It's as far as we can go. Electric fence. Let's look at it. <laughs> Man, this fence is fantastic. We'll do whatever you want to help keep it running. Well, clearing that perimeter is going to be a big help. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh. Oh, I guess we're supposed to talk to him to make sure. Okay, let's talk to him. <laughs> Hi. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. How many How many weapons do you have, Will? No one. <laughs> yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. <laughs> well, protecting your people is important, but yep. in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Are we your first guests? Let's go fix the perimeter. Fence stops the walkers. Yes, it does. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Um, you found out that the other survivors have stayed at the farm. That other survivors have stayed at the farm. Let's go Mark fix the perimeter. I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. That's right. I have a feeling Mark is going to get... Um, I have a feeling he's going to get electrocuted because either Andy forgot about the perimeter to turn it off, or he's going to touch the wrong fence. <laughs>